You mentioned Pete Williams. Let's bring him in, NBC's chief justice correspondent. Pete, what do we know? These, these murmurs that maybe it's tax related, what do you know? This is it. Uh, these are the indictments against uh, Paul Manafort and um, Richard Gates. They're both uh, named as defendants in this single case. And uh, I literally just got them 30 seconds ago, but basically it is financial related. According to the special prosecutor here, it says that they did work for Ukraine and were paid by the Ukrainian government, but that they hid these payments from U.S. authorities for at least 10 years, according to this indictment, from 20, uh, 2006 through 2016. They, it says Manafort and Gates laundered the money through scores of U.S. and foreign corporations, partnerships, and bank accounts that they funneled millions of dollars of these payments into foreign companies and bank accounts opened by them and their accomplices in Cyprus, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Seychelles that they hid the existence of these foreign companies and bank accounts and uh, uh, falsely and repeatedly reporting to their tax preparers in the U.S. that they had no foreign bank accounts. It says Manafort used this hidden overseas wealth to enjoy a lavish lifestyle in the U.S. without paying taxes on the income, uh, without reporting the income to his tax preparers, spent millions on luxury goods and services for himself and his extended family through payments wired from these offshore nominee accounts to the U.S. vendors. So uh, this is basically, they say, um, in total, more than seven, uh, $75 million, they say, flowed through the offshore accounts that Manafort laundered more than $18 million, which was used by him to buy property, goods, and services in the U.S., income that he concealed from the Treasury, the Department of Justice, Gates transferred more than $3 million, the indictment says, from the offshore accounts to other accounts that he controlled. So just uh, based on the initial look at this, uh, and the indictment has uh, charts on it showing the movement of money. Um, and, and so uh, a part of our understanding here on why these charges are coming now is the federal prosecutors faced a statute of limitations issue, although if, if uh, this is correct, that this activity continued through at least 2016, I'm not sure about that, because if they are if they're alleging here that this conduct was still going on as of uh, uh, last year, then I don't know what the statute of limitations issue, but we had initially been told that they had to hurry up on this indictment because they couldn't charge some of this conduct if they didn't fire, file quickly. But basically, they say uh, this is this is basically uh, none of this seems to be related as I as I go through the indictment here, which is uh, about thirty some pages, thirty one pages. I don't see anything related to the campaign. So two things about this: one is this it seems to be entirely financially related on their business, and second, uh, we do know from uh, people that are involved in uh, these legal issues that these are not the only charges that the special counsel had been contemplating against Manafort, but this is at least the starting point. Does it mean that there could be more charges? So just to read them again, the indictment contains 12 counts. Conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy, conspiracy to launder money, unregistered agent of a foreign principal, false and misleading FARA statements, false statements on seven counts of failure to file reports of foreign bank and financial accounts. Pete. Does that mean that it could be these 12 counts exclusively, or there could no. be more to come? Oh, absolutely could be more to come. And, and what, what, we, what we've been led to believe is that, they're, that they are under investigation for other charges. But we don't know what those other charges are and whether those other charges are more directly related to the campaign. Remember, uh, as we go through all of this for the next several hours, why the special counsel existed in the first place. The mission of Robert Mueller is to investigate whether anybody in the United States was in cahoots with the Russians for meddling in last year's election. That's the ball on which we have to keep our eye. Uh, so this is a starting point here. And whether the government will try to, uh, whether Mueller will try to use these charges to try to leverage Manafort to give more testimony in exchange for some kind of negotiated plea, uh, we'll see. But uh, this is the this is the first uh, charge. And if you look at the last page of the indictment, 
the grand jury indictment. You can see here it's signed by Robert Mueller, the special counsel. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.